So if you have a physical restriction, which is you feel is stopping you from being creative, I've got a few things that I hope will help. Now, if you're suffering from chronic pain, it's very debilitating, but you're probably taking some type of painkiller. So what I can suggest for chronic pain is if you pick a time of day when you're in the least amount of pain for your whole day, then try and use that as your creative time. Make yourself very comfortable, have a good supportive chair, use extra pillows and cushions if you need. And I would suggest that if you have an office style chair, that you would sit at a table and just make yourself really comfortable and don't push yourself too hard. Have breaks. If you can't do 15 minutes in one go, then do five minutes. And there are lots of supports for you. You can get wrist supports that sit on the table. You can get, you could have a little table easel that's at an angle if that is more helpful for you. So have a look at all the different types of support. There are far too many here. I don't have any of those type of things to show you, but I know they are around. And I think just don't give up because if you can lose yourself for a little while being creative, then it's going to make you feel better at the end of the day that you've achieved something. The same goes for if you have a chronic tiredness condition. I know it's really hard if you're really tired to find that energy to push yourself. And I will talk about motivation in another video, but the same applies. Make yourself comfortable the time of day when you are least tired when you can if you can just snatch a few minutes here and there to doodle or do work on a picture have everything out ready for you to work on so you're not wasting time looking for things and I don't really know much else that I can help you with that because chronic tiredness is just a terrible thing and everyone has to find their own way around it something that I can tell you about is visual problems now, visual problems can be really awful if you like to paint and draw, but don't give up because there are ways you may have to adapt to the type of art that you like. You may have to work larger. You may have to change the equipment you use, but there are lots of ways that we can work around it. The first thing is always make sure you have a recent eye test. You have the best possible lenses in your glasses to help you. You can get magnifiers. You can get lamps that help. I use the Daylight Company lamps. I have a large one that's plugged in at the moment that works on the mains. It's quite expensive but it is really good. I also have this little portable one which I've forgotten to charge. It's a rechargeable one and that has three different levels of light so I can change it from a lower light to a medium to a very bright light. I found the daylight lamps are the best because they are specially designed for artists, craftspeople and draftsmen. So having a really good light source helps. Now they are quite expensive. I'd also use an angle poise lamp. I've got two. One that takes bayonet type bulbs and I have another which takes the screw type fitting. So you can buy the official daylight bulbs. You can buy them direct from the daylight company. They're under £10 each. They last a really long time and they're LED, so they're low energy and they don't get as hot as the other light bulbs. And I find I cannot work without daylight bulbs anymore. They really are the best. I used to have a big lamp that was a very old daylight company. Many, many years I had and it had... Um, a magnifier attached to it but unfortunately when I moved the poor lamp was absolutely falling apart I couldn't get the replacement bulbs because it was such an old lamp so we did have to get rid of that one and I have got this daylight magnifier here which I hoped to attach to my desk so it's a lovely magnifier if I can show you it has a clamp on one side but unfortunately, I didn't occur to me, my desk has a ridge underneath and I can't get the clamp on it. So I have to use it with a different table and not my main desk. But you can see the difference a magnifier will make if you have poor vision. It is enormously helpful. So that is an excellent magnifier. And just make sure if you use a magnifier, you never leave it without the cover on when you've finished working because obviously the sunlight 
can catch that and cause a fire, which would be tragic. So a magnifier is great. You can get magnifiers on stands as well, um, which I think I'm going to have to do. But there are all sorts of magnifiers. You can get rulers that have magnifiers in. So have a look and see what is going to be most suitable for you. Now, if you have pain in your hands and you have difficulty holding things, you've probably seen all the different pencil grips that you can get. And some pencils, they actually have like a textured surface, which helps. But I have this wonderful stuff. It doesn't look very nice. It's not brilliant colours. But I have this stuff called tubing. It's simply called tubing and it has a colour and it's, I think it's, well, um, 30 centimetres, I think, in there. That came from Amazon, but I'm sure you can get it in other places. I don't even know what it's intended for, but it has different apertures and different colours. So this would fit a chunky paintbrush or your toothbrush if you have a manual toothbrush. And you just cut it with a sharp knife, a craft knife, and the length you want, you cut it to any length, it simply slides onto your pencil and it gives you a super soft, squidgy support there. It also helps if your fingers get sweaty, if you're just using a pencil, um, you don't get that problem here. And I've used this for quite a few years. It hasn't deteriorated, it's faded a bit, but basically it's as good as it was when I first got it. Although I think that they will eventually get a little bit maybe um you know you'll get indentations on it eventually when it's very old but i don't always use this because i don't really color in with pencils for a long time at once but anyway that is a support that you can get i do more with my pens and so i found the chunky pens are much easier to use these lovely pit artist jewel markers they are perfect they don't cause me any pain they feel nice and i can use them for quite a long time and Pens like the Posca pens come in all different widths and thicknesses, so you could probably find some nice Posca pens. So if you have trouble holding a slim pencil or a slim pen, look for something else or find an aid that you can use with it. And another thing that people often say is they have very shaky hands. Now my hands shake some days, not every day. Sometimes I can draw fine and other days my hand is all wobbly and it's really frustrating and an artist, I can't remember which artist said to me once, just let your hand wobble and work with it. So when I'm having a bad day I don't try to draw anything where I need really neat straight lines. Working on natural subjects, it's much easier to incorporate a shaky hand line. And something I've worked out for myself is if I will practice drawing a line, sometimes my hand stops to shake. So with this, I tend to always just do flower shapes because I like doing them. And the, the thing with this is when I started off, you can see I didn't intentionally put these crinkles and wobbles in here. This is what is happening when I'm drawing. So my hand was just shaking. If I concentrate too hard, it will shake more and I'll get like, really fed up with it so I've worked out over the years just keep repeating the pattern let your hand shake as much as it wants to and if you can relax enough hopefully the line will become a lot less wobbly because you can see here the line is no longer quite as wobbly but of course if you're drawing flowers and things you often have crinkles in the petals so it doesn't really matter so I think the thing is not to get too stressed and upset when things aren't right. Do what you can do on the day. If you're having a bad day, don't worry. Even if you have to miss a day, you can still read about art. You can still look at art on YouTube. But when you're having a good day, take advantage and do what you can because it really will make you feel better. It will make you feel you've achieved something.